500 500 folks are 500 dollar houses still a thing yeah as a matter of fact they are there's certain markets in the usa where you can pick up 500 dollar houses and i'm gonna show you guys how to wholesale them for a quick profit let's go This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. I am here to help you, right? I'm here to help investors from all over the world make their coin in the real estate space. Now, today... We're going to do from Camarilla, California, named Jesse. Jesse, my guy, today we're going to be going over a $500 house, right? We're going to have to flip this sucker. No construction, no rehab, none of it. We're going to flip the paper, baby. We're going to flip the house. We're going to wholesale this bad boy, but we're going to do so legally, morally, and ethically. We ain't going to get involved in any illegal brokerage opportunities. Now, when you're flipping houses the right way, there's a lot that goes into it, and we're going to partner you and me, and I'm going to do a lot of the legwork for you. Let's jump into the details right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. $500. $500 houses, okay? $500 houses. That's what we're doing. We're going to be flipping $500 houses. And when you're trying to flip a $500 house, it's going to be ugly, man. Look at this thing. Woo, boy. Look at this. This is possibly the most jacked house you could ever anticipate. I hope you guys didn't think our $500 houses were going to be livable. No, no, no. That ain't the game we are playing, folks. For those of you out there that think wholesaling is supposed to be sexy, it ain't, baby. If you're wholesaling in the real world, wholesaling cheap houses, this, this is what you're selling, y'all. So get on board with it because this is the reality, right? Look at that. See that? It's not the sky, but it could be the sky if that tarp wasn't there, okay? This is, oh, there's the sky peeking out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, so this house is beat. And that is step one, okay? Step one of wholesaling is to find sellers in distress. Now, <clears throat> doesn't always have to be a house that's worth basically nothing that should probably get torn down that's totally jacked up. No, it could be a nicer house if they're, you know, maybe getting divorced or this or that, right? But if you're trying to wholesale with almost no money, this is what you're going to be doing. Now, I know there's a lot of people like, wait, what? What do you mean, man? You didn't need any money to wholesale. You could wholesale big, expensive houses with no money, bro. That's why we wholesale. No, no, bro, you can't. You cannot legally wholesale without any money, folks, okay? What you can do, what a lot of other gurus out there teach you to do, they teach you to find a buyer, okay? Build a buyer's list, right? Hey, man, build a buyer's list, bro. Build a buyer's list. Go on Craigslist. Pretend you got a property. Make a fake ad. Put it on Craigslist. A bunch of people contact you about the property. What do you know? You got a buyer's list, right? They teach you that crap. They teach you take motivated buyers, right? And then you find motivated sellers, and then you connect them, and then you make your wholesale fee. You know what I like to call a wholesale fee? I like to call it what it is. It's commission, real estate commission. You know what it is when you take a buyer and a seller, you connect them, and you, connect a, uh, you collect a commission doing it? It's called broker in real estate, folks. Broker in real estate. I know a thing or two about broker in real estate because I'm a real estate broker. And I've sold $200 million worth of houses. Some of them really cheap, $500 type houses, okay? I know what I'm doing. And it is illegal to broker real estate in all 50 states without a license, right? So what a lot of the other gurus are teaching you, it ain't wholesaling, okay? It's broker in real estate illegally. A- Usually doesn't work because if you actually broker real estate as a broker, you get to utilize the MLS. Works a lot better, number one. Number two, 
it's morally bankrupt because you're telling people you're going to buy the property when you're really not going to buy the property. You have no intention to buy the property. If you can't find an end buyer, you're just canceling the contract. That's fucked up to do to people because the idea behind being a wholesaler is you have to find distressed sellers, sellers in distressed positions. You can't just string along these people that are in desperate situations, you pieces of shit out there doing that. You're morally bankrupt, right? So legally not going to fly. Doesn't really work that well. And you're morally bankrupt. We ain't doing any of that here. We're doing it all the right way. The right way, the real way, the way they ain't going to get you in trouble, is you got clothes on the deal. You got to buy it. You got to wholesale it. You got to buy low. You got to sell high. Okay? You can wholesale anything. Wholesale cars. Wholesale peanuts. Wholesale freaking dream catchers on Etsy. I don't know. But if you want to sell wholesale houses the right way, you got to buy them. Right? So if you don't have a lot of money, it's okay, you could still do it, but we're working with cheap houses like this, right? And this is the perfect house, right? Now, I keep calling it a $500 house, but if you look, they're asking $19,900. That's pretty far away from a $500 house there, Jay Wise. The address is 17720 Delavine Ave, Cleveland, 44109. For those of you not familiar with this area of Cleveland, Holton Wise is based out of Cleveland. Those $200 million worth of houses I sold, they're in Cleveland, all right? I run the largest real estate portfolio of its kind in Cleveland. That's what we do here on Holton Wise TV, right? We partner with you guys, and the deals we do on the ground are in the Cleveland market. Now, you could take what I'm teaching you, teaching you how to do these wholesale deals. You could find motivated sellers in your market and utilize these tools wherever you live. As a matter of fact, I have a freebie for anybody out there who wants to do it. Right here, PropStream, okay, you may have noticed the sign in a lot of my videos. PropStream is a sponsor of this show. After you watch this video, I want you to go ahead and click the PropStream link below. Get yourself a free trial of their program, okay? This is the MLS Search and Analysis Show, guys. I'm pulling up properties from my local MLS, okay? If you want to do deals outside of Cleveland, you want to do them in your own home market, PropStream is essentially an MLS for you nationwide. So wherever you live, you get MLS-type data at your fingertips so you can do what I teach you without me. And obviously, it's the free trial. And guess what? Afterwards, of course, you'll have to pay for it. Ain't nothing free in this world, boys. There ain't no free lunch. But because you're a Holton Wise TV subscriber, you'll get a lifetime discount. So that's how you do it in your own market. Or... If you don't want to do stuff in your own market, you want to partner with me in my market to do these cheap deals, let us continue. Now, I happen to know this market like the back of my hand. From looking at the data, the comps, again, the same kind of comps you'll be able to get in your PropStream account, I know the properties over here go for almost nothing. It's a blighted area, right? Very cheap properties, okay? And this one is totally jacked up. And the seller made a huge mistake. They listed it too high. A property in this neighborhood that's like kind of messed up but not like destroyed like this one, a reasonable price would be like in the 30K range, 25K range. They tried selling this for like 30K originally. Then they went down to 23. I think it was 30K. Then they went down to 23. Now they're at 19. What they did is they dramatically overpriced it, right? They screwed the pooch. And that's right where I want them, okay? That's the best thing. In real estate, selling real estate, I'll tell you this. The biggest mistake I see sellers make is they try to list their property too high. They try to price it too high. It doesn't work. You got to go with the lowest possible price, right? That creates demand. It creates uh, competition amongst buyers, right? They see it as I don't want to lose out on this deal. Time and time again, when sellers overprice their property, it sits and nobody's interested and they think there's something wrong with it and it gets ignored and eventually they sell it for a price lower than they could have if they appropriately priced it. Doesn't even matter if it's cheap shit, expensive shit, whatever. Tried and true always happens. The sellers who overprice their stuff, they end up paying for that. And this seller is an asshole. This fucking guy or gal, I don't know. Could be a guy, could be a gal. Either way, it's a dumb motherfucker, okay? Thinking they can get fucking 20, 30 grand for this motherfucker. You can't, bro. Come on. I just showed you the... I mean, come on, dude. It's in one of the most distressed neighborhoods in the United States of America. I could look out the roof. Like, what did they think? Like, they literally... No sense or logic went into the pricing strategy of trying to get 
like 25, 30K for this sucker, right? So now it's been on the market for a very long time. And that desperation starts to come in. See, here's the thing. When sellers overprice properties, right? Because, like, I see people do this all the time, right? You see people like, oh, the real estate agent overpriced it. Guys, that's not how it works. Real estate agents don't get paid unless the deal sells. There's never a scenario where the seller's like, sell it for 10. And the realtor's like, no, we got to sell it for 20 because I'll get more commission. I know dumb motherfucking buyers out there say shit like that. Like, the realtor overpriced it because they wanted a 7% commission on a higher price, but it never sold. I hate my realtor. Bro, that's not how it goes. The realtor wants to price it lower because they ain't getting paid unless it sells. And the dumb motherfucking sellers are trying to price it higher. So what you get is you get realtors that are like, well, this seller is an idiot, but I'm going to sign up a six-month listing agreement with this idiot. So uh, if I tell him how dumb he is right now today, he'll just tell me to get out of his house and I won't get the listing. So instead, I'll let everybody else in the market tell him he's a fucking asshole for the next three months when nobody buys his property. And then, since he's already locked in, then he'll probably lower the price to a more reasonable amount, right? That's usually how things go with overpriced listings, right? It doesn't always happen that way, but that's usually how the seller-realtor relationship goes. By the way, back to wholesaling and uh, doing it the wrong way, right? Also, folks, if you're out there and you're falling for these guru courses, right? Duh! Put the property under contract. Tell them you're not going to close for 30 days and it's contingent on your partner's approval. Bro, again, I told you. Legally, if you want to broker real estate, because that's what you're trying to do, you got to get a license to do it. But, like, legally, morally, those issues aside, it just doesn't work that well, bro. Just get your real estate license and broker it up front. Just broker the fucker like an agent, right? Because you got 30 days, you had to lie and tell them that you had a buyer that you don't really have, and then you got 30 days to hustle. If you were a realtor, you lock them up for like six, seven months, bro. Come on! Think, people. There's no scenario to continue trying to wholesale the way other people are teaching you. But again, that's a topic for another day. But the moral story is, in the overpriced scenarios, the longer, the longer the property's been for sale at a wrong price, the, the seller's confidence just wanes and it continues to go down, right? That's why you get a lot of these realtors, they meet the seller that day. And they won't try to argue too hard with them on price because the seller's like, I know my property's worth more. Get out. And they'll just hire the next realtor who's like, yeah, dude, I can sell it for that price. So a lot of these realtors, yeah, sure, bro. They know it's not nothing's happening for months. But they're going to let time tell the seller how big of a dumb motherfucker they are, okay? So that's where we're going to come in. It's been on the market for quite a while. I can guarantee you. I mean, I, I can't guarantee it, obviously. But, like... I'd be willing to bet a lot of money. Nobody's made offers on this because it's priced ass backwards insane. Nobody's making offers, right? So the seller should be at an all-time high of desperation. That's why we're going to come in while they're desperate. $500 offer. If they take it, great. If they don't, fuck them. We move on. I don't want you spending 501 on this deal. 500 right? Then you're going to have to spend, you know, on your closing costs, 1000 bucks, right? Get get How crazy is that, right? The, the 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 friggin' title costs and stuff are gonna be more than the property, right? You'd be all in for fifteen hundo, right? Then we're gonna sell for, you know, what I can sell for, ninety five, right? I'm not stupid though. I'm gonna try to sell it at ninety five by trying to sell it for ninety five. I ain't gonna try to sell it for thirty like some fucking idiot. No no no. I I, I know buyers that are buyers for ninety five about, right? Seems crazy to spend 95 on something like this, but that's what we can get. We can get about 95. There's a decent chunk of buyers out there uh, that would pay about 95. Dumbest thing in the world when I know it's worth 95 is to also be like them and try to get them to pay 30. They're like, fuck you, dude. Why would I pay 30 for that? It's worth 95, right? So 95. Then after you pay me my commissions, closing costs again, it's part of the game, right? You got to pay closing costs. The title company needs to get paid. You end up making about two grand, folks. It's not bad, right? All you got to do is spend 500 to make about two grand. Do you get super rich off of a two grand commission or proceeds? No, absolutely not. But you quadrupled your money, right? That's the name of the game. It's not as sexy, obviously, in the real world. But if you want to wholesale for real, that's how you do it. That's what a real deal would look like. I know those people selling you the courses. They got the paychecks, right? They put them on their Instagram like, ah, $180,000 wholesale fee. Bah! You know the only person making money in a scenario like that? 
the fucking guy who's like, hey, come to my three-day seminar for $9,997. That's the only people making money. In the real world, this is what a real wholesale deal will look like legally, morally, ethically, everything above board. Is it super sexy? No. Does everybody go crazy over two grand? No. But you do a track record of doing a ton of these, you'll make some good money. And guess what? Here's the other thing. There's not 100% chance uh, that the seller's going to accept 500. They might still be stupid and they might not take it. But you know what? Six months later, they might be down to take it if they keep the price too high. Or maybe they don't take it. That's the other thing nobody mentions to you guys. Wholesaling, it's a numbers game, folks. It is a numbers game. You know how you get 10 wholesale deals? You make like 100 or 1,000 offers. You know how you get 100 wholesale deals? You make 1,000 or 10,000 offers. It's a numbers game. You got to constantly be throwing it out there, right? So if you want to actually be a wholesaler in the real world, this is how you do it. Let me know if you'd like to partner up and uh, do it all together. Because, again, I take half the work off your plate. You just got to buy it. I'll handle selling it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.